Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is a brand new Touch with ROM over on XDA from Nitroglycerin33, a recognized XDA developer. This is Eclipse TouchWiz version 1.0. A lot of cool features and a lot of inverted apps in this uh, in this ROM, including your dialer, your contacts, Talk, Gmail, Play Store, MMS with Quick Reply, email, GNow, Google Now, and Calendar. Okay, those are all been inverted. You do have the AOSP lock screen, Lean Kernel 1.8 from iMosey on, and much more. You can read the full change log over on XDA. He also has some optional downloads. You can change the color of your toggles. You can change your battery icon, launcher, and a few other things. And those are extra downloads you can find over in the OP on XDA. So let's, think, uh, let's see, see what this baby looks like here. First things first, we're going to go down to About Phone and Settings. We're going to see what we're working with. Uh, VRB MA2, the baseband. I did that myself. It's not based off of that. It's actually based off the VRBL K3 over-the-air update. That's something that you have to change on your own with the uh, modem and the RPM. We are on Android 4.1.1, and we are on Lean Kernel 1.8 from iMozion, okay? Back out into the settings menu here, you can see it looks uh, pretty untouchwiz like more like AOSP. If you haven't been on uh, one of these AOSP-themed TouchWiz ROMs yet, this is similar to Jelly Beans from Beanstown 106. Very cool. I like it a lot. You get the AOSP or the uh, AOSP looking uh, settings menu along with the ice cream sandwich blue, which I love for your toggles. So uh, that's pretty much what the settings menu looks like in uh, location services, lock screen services. Here you go. Lock screen options. This is where you're going to change to your AOSP lock screen. You're going to check that option right there and then you're going to uncheck the option for ripple effect okay ripple effect if you have that checked and you have it landscape a lot of time it locks up and you have to battery pull so check aosp lock screen uncheck ripple effect okay and that's going to be in your lock screen options in your settings menu okay Sound good? Let's go back out to the home screen here and see some of these applications that have been inverted. Now, if you don't know what inverted means, it means that if it was white, it is now black. So uh, let's start off with the dialer and the contacts. Dialer, A, you got the ice cream sandwich blue for the numbers, black background. Your contacts have all been inverted, so you can see black background instead of a white background. Also have your email and your Gmail. Gmail has been inverted, so your background is now black on here. Your email, pretty much the same thing. If you have a regular email for work or something, uh, you're going to to use your, uh, your email icon and your email account right here, and that whole thing has been inverted as well. Okay, also we got the uh, Google Talk. Do you use Gtalk? If you do, you'll see that has also been uh, inverted. You got Google Now, which has been inverted as well, and this is the first time I've had Google Now inverted, which is pretty cool. Normally that's all white, and now it's black. Your Play Store has also been inverted, as you can see in your My Apps. That's what it looks like. You get your ice cream sandwich blue and your black instead of the green and the white that you're normally used to. And out on the home screen or the main screen of the Play Store, you can see that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, what else do we got for you? Oh, your calendar has also been done. Okay, and the calendar's had some problems when you first booted up for the first time, not connecting to your and syncing to your Google account. When you go into your settings, you go into the Google account, it actually doesn't even give you an option to sync your calendar. So what I did is did a little research, did a little playing around, found these applications and the new MA2 leak that just came out. And of course, you could probably get them from any of the other TouchWiz ROMs, Jelly Bean ROMs, but I got Google Calendar Sync Adapter. Set Calendar North America and Set Calendar Provider. I got all three of those out. We do have the Calendar Sync Adapter already in here. It did create a copy when I pushed it to System Apps. I'm not sure if they're different or not. I think they're the same, but I left it that way because it works. Um, what you're going to do is take these three applications. You're going to extract them to your SD card from the zip file, and then you're going to push them to your System Apps, which means you're going to take them and copy them. You're going to go out to your System Apps, System App, these are all your system apps, and you're going to paste them in there. Then you go to each individual one of those three, and you're going to change the permissions to RWRR. Once you've done that, reboot your phone, and you should have calendar now working just fine. Now, the other thing you saw in there is you saw the, uh, the time. I did the time. Oop. SD card extracted. The clock package. I did not have the Samsung widget included that I used for the alarm clock, so I found the clock package and did the same thing, push it to system apps, RWRR, and it's working great. As you can see, there is the alarm icon or the alarm widget from uh, Samsung that stock that wasn't in there for some reason that I then put in there. So that's the deal with the calendar. You will have to find another ROM until, the, uh, until nitroglycerin fixes it. You'll have to extract those apps, put them in your system apps, change your permissions, reboot the phone.
taken care of, okay? MMS, you do have MMS with Quick Reply here. Uh, it is AOSP and it has been inverted, so that's pretty cool. Quick Reply works great uh, in your notification pull down here and you can swipe to get rid of your notifications as well. Your toggles are all white, but you can download blue toggles if you want to over on the front page over on XDA and you do have a brightness slider as well. So those are some of the applications that are inverted. You do have the AOSP lock screen, which I showed you how to change it. This is what it looks like. You have the option for unlocking, search, and camera, okay, and the AOSP lock screen, or you can just use the regular TouchWiz lock screen as well. We are using the Lean Kernel 1.8 from iMozy on. If we go to the CPU settings, you can see that we uh, can overclock up to 1.9 gigahertz and underclock to 192 megahertz. That's lower than we ever have been able to do before. It used to be 384, and now it's 192, which is half of that. So we'll have to see how that works. I haven't had any hot reboots or anything yet since I've had it on there, so it seems to be working pretty good so far. Now, if you've never used a lean kernel, you can play with voltages, okay? But iMozion does set a... Uh a default of 1150 for safety reasons, just in case you have a slow uh, device or nominal device. It may not work as good as the fast devices. Uh, so 1150 is where he sets it, but you can change that. You can override that. And he's done that. You can do it in Terminal Emulator. What you do is go into Terminal Emulator, type in SU Enter, okay? Then you type in LK Config. LK Config. Oops, Cub Config. Config kind of hard to do. Then you're going to get some options here. You're going to choose option number two, which is going to override those minimums that he put on there. Exit out of your uh, terminal emulator. Go back into whatever you're using. I'm using System Tuner. And then you should be able to change your voltages and they should stick. Uh, I actually have some saved, so I just load my voltages and everything sticks and there's no more 1150s, okay? So that's what you have to do on a lean kernel. If you've never used it before, you, you, he does have it there for safety measures. Just go into terminal emulator, SU enter, LK config, option number two, hit enter enter and then go back and change your voltages okay everything's running great so far Wi-Fi works great 4G works great I uh, showed you the camera uh, the alarm widget that uh, I, I, I pushed the system apps in there as well and overall a beautiful ROM it's very quick very fast I've had no uh, no problems with any lagging at all you do see that the, uh, the the icon to go into your app drawer has been changed so it's no more uh, touch whiz dots it's actually the AOSP dots you go in here you can see we do have a one two three four five and one two three four five it's a five by five app drawer that he's included in here and again it's buttery smooth no problems whatsoever these are the widgets that you have again I did add a couple of them here but most of your Samsung widgets are already here in your widget drawer so overall a beautiful first release for Eclipse TouchWiz. Great job, Nitro, Nitroglycerin33. Recognized developer on XDA. Make sure you thank him. Donate if, uh, if you have the uh, opportunity to and download this ROM. It's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful ROM and you should have it on your phone. The Eclipse TouchWiz version 1.0 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. My name is Hobart. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Android University, all one word, over on YouTube.com. Uh, and I got all the latest and greatest ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S3. If you like what I do, make sure you hit the like button, comment. I'm always on there uh, answering questions and have fun with it, all right? It's Eclipse TouchWiz version 1.0 from Nitroglycerin33. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.